What is up, it's your boy J and W Boss in the building back here for another episode of All Out Revolution, AOR Wrestling, whatever you want to call it. Tonight is looking to be off the chain. It's just me on commentary. We're right here in Nashville, Tennessee. In fact, coming up next, our first match of the evening, former AOR Women's Champion Ashley Knight is set to take on Raid of Apocalypse member Diamond in singles action. And speaking of Women, and speaking of singles action, coming up tonight, it is the AOR Women's Championship on the line as Carmen set to take on Chloe Sharp. Now, these two, they've been button heads. Well, ever since Carmen came here, let's see if Carmen can capitalize and come out Women's Champion. And then, speaking of champions and championships, RJ Mock got robbed two weeks ago of becoming the AOR World Champion, thanks to Big Mac. AOR General Manager Christina Miller decided, hey, we're going to resolve that by locking those two inside of a steel cage. And apparently we have a special announcement regarding that steel cage, man. But nonetheless, like I said before, to jump me on commentary, I wish I could have J-Dog here with me, but due to uh, travel arrangements and technical difficulties, it's not really, uh, not really able to happen. So J-Dog, wherever you are, man, I hope you're sitting back, you know, getting a break, getting a breather, enjoying the new year. Happy new year, everybody. And then we get started with tonight's action. Actually, tonight's the uh, first ever AOR Women's Champion in the ring. Let's to take on Raid of Apocalypse member Diamond. This is the eerie atmosphere, man. The really eerie kind of atmosphere these three make their way to the ring I mean we saw sending Raz and tag team action about three three or so weeks ago been a minute since we seen them here in AOR but they were in tag team action against the family and they were victorious back on episode three or episode two I think it may have been episode two it may have been episode two I may be wrong but they were successful in uh Tag team action, pretty dominant too. I'm pretty sure Ray, I'm pretty sure these, this trio here, they're looking to get something done here in AOR. I'm pretty sure Thin and Wrath are looking to become the uh, first ever AOR tag team champions, and and Diamond here looking to do, see what she can do in the women's division. And what a great way she can uh, kind of make her name though, make her put her stamp on the division by picking up a win. Over the first ever AOR Women's Champion. Out there in Nashville ain't really approving of uh, of none of this, but at the end of the day, hey, they out here, they got to do what they got to do. We're about to see what they can do. I'm a scary individual, I promise you. Pretty sure Ashley, I wonder what did, what's going on in the back of Ashley's mind there. I'm pretty sure she never really, uh, never really faced anyone. It's quite as bizarre, quite as out there as these three. Either way, we're about to see what she can do as Ashley kind of steps into the ring here. And here we go, Ashley Knight versus uh, Diamond, the first match of the night, and the matchup is underway and ladies and gentlemen that we uh we get started here i'd like to formally welcome you guys to another edition of all out revolution oh my goodness right here on wwe 2k18 so at any point during the video if you feel so inclined feel free to click the like comment and subscribe also click the bell icon that way you don't miss another aoa and or aor upload oh man that back suplex on the part of uh part of ashley ashley looking to regain some momentum here as last week, her and Chloe were, oh my goodness, nice fly cross body over the top rope. Now Ashley putting in work here, and now Ashley's getting a bit too close for comfort, bro. Probably want to back up. Let that break her on the floor. I'm saying, Ashley's trying to, get, trying to get some momentum. Because last week, her and Chloe, yes, I did say her and Chloe, the two females that kind of been button heads since day one. They actually seemed, they actually, for all attempts and purposes, didn't do too bad of a tag team last week. However, they were unsuccessful in tag team action against Carmen and Madison, as we pointed out before. Chloe will be defending. Nice slam, nice counter by Ashley. Ooh! 
Boom, look great. But Chloe will be defending her AOR Women's Championship against Carmen. And right here tonight, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be a fight and a half if we've seen anything from these two for the past couple of weeks. Nice DDT. Right now, Ashley's putting up a pretty good fight against Diamond here. To the top rope, shooting star. Press beautiful with it. Straight into the cover. One. And a kick out at one. Wow. Surprise. I'm showing a lot of resolve. They're sitting up on the apron, calling the distractions, which allowed Diamond the chance to take over. Well, that's Tiger Suplex there. Now we're going to continue the work here and again sling it, Ashley. Have just about across the ring there. That's countered by Ashley. Going off the rope. That misses the clothesline completely, but able to catch her with an elbow. Ashley's really kind of trying to follow up here. And to keep the momentum swinging her way. That's counter. And I got to say, B, we're quite honest with you. After Ashley lost the women's title, she has not been doing too well in things of action. Like, ever since losing the women's title, if I'm correct, she is one for two. Or one for, uh, well, one for one, really. One for one. Or one for two. Beat Gloria. But she couldn't beat, uh... Madison, so she won and won, my bad. Oh! Well, she tried. Right saying this is awesome. Now, wait a second. What's this? That's, look at Diamond. Oh, what a jackhammer. Jackhammer by Diamond. Putting Ashley down. Straight to the cover. This may be it, yo. We done and dusted and no. Ashley's talking about staying alive in this thing. Diamond trying to figure out what do I got to do next. Maybe trying to fire up and look at Ashley. She said, nah, bro. We good. Fire back herself here. Pay like it. Trying to keep the ball rolling. You got to stay on top here. She's doing anything she can to make sure she does that. That close line in the corner. And now Raph, there we go. Raph with the distraction now. Seems like every time Ashley's getting the ball rolling... Red the bar away. A second. Oh, man, what a bat breaker. That allowed Diamond to follow up with that bat breaker. That distraction, yo, ref. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna chat out these two dudes. Hey, come on now. They keep getting involved in the match. They keep doing the whole nine yards. Oh, Lord. Oh, T Bone. Suplex. And Diamond is on a roll. In part, thanks to, uh, Two boys in the raft there on the outside of the ring. I think it's really kind of trying to get into this thing. Really trying to get the crowd behind Diamond, but I don't think I don't think that can happen. The AOR crowd is a huge fan of uh, people like Ashley. It, whoa, whoa! Went off run size and ran off the other just to get caught with a hit. Beautiful job. If I was Ashley, I would go ahead and try to put this thing away before any other type of distraction occurs. Close line and get into the corner. And no distraction in the part of the other two. Looking to finish the thing off here. All right, she got, all right, she got Diamond kind of right where she wants her. And look at it. Oh, no. Mm, Ashley, you overshot it. You overshot the move. That could have been it. We need to put people away with that move. But unfortunately for her, she overshot the move. And now, that allowed Diamond the chance to take over with a spine buster. Spine buster, and it looks like she's about to finish this thing off again. Setting her off of that jackhammer for the second time in a row. Straight into the cover. Two. And that's it. Diamond, what an impressive victory. And now, look at her just laughing at Ashley there. But Diamond with an impressive victory over Ashley Knight. And you can say, hey, what's the thanks to uh, the other two dudes that rings out that she got to win the first place? I mean, they were causing a distraction at every turn. But I think what kind of also did Ashley in, and the fact that she got, she overshot her move there. Overshot her finisher, which allowed uh, Diamond a chance to kind of give Diamond a little bit of a wake up call. Say that hey, you know, she was trying to end this thing. And we don't get to replay the jack here. Okay, that's kind of stupid, but whatever production did. Nonetheless. 
I've been picking up an impressive win in her AOR debut. Man. They can keep up on a roll like that. They're going to be gold plays there on AOR, I promise you. Hello, I've heard word of some angry Spartan wanting to see me. I'm guessing that's you, Madison? Called her an angry Spartan. Yes. You got jokes. See that? See, you know what? That's the thing I wanted to talk to you about. You are not taking me or Jacqueline Wade seriously. I want you to really think about this for a minute. You tonight are giving Carmen a shot at Chloe for the AOR Women's Championship, and yet, what has she done? Huh? What has she done? Or what? Just because she attacked the champion? That? That why? Is that it? Is that it? How come not me? Huh? How come you haven't given me an opportunity? I've been on a roll. I've been on fire since starting out here in AOR. Where's my shot, huh? Where's my shot? And as far as Jack and Wade, why is he not number one contender okay. for the AOR still talking. world title? Except you're going to give it to RJ? What? RJ, just because he got Rob Boo Hoo, so did Jack and Wade. So did Jack and Wade a couple of weeks ago. You never did anything about it. Wait, whoa, wait a second. That's not necessarily true. See, I solved multiple birds with one stone the following week by putting him in a six-man tag with Brandon Alec as he faced the team of two squad up and RJ Miles. So, I didn't do anything about it. I didn't do what you expected me to do about it, but I did something about it. So wait a wrong. So, so, so your solution to that whole problem with the team and with a bunch of clowns, with the team with those two bowlers, he didn't need those two. Oh, wait. Did you really just say that? Yeah, I said what I said. Okay, good. You know what? I think I get the underlying problem. So here's how we're going to remedy that. Now, Jack Wade, as far as he goes, is, since you say he really didn't need those two, let's see if he can prove it tonight. Let's see if he can prove it, because tonight he'll have a two-on-one handicap match against Brandon and Alex. Wow, okay. And as far as you go, now, originally I had a triple threat match in mind with Gloria, Deborah, and Shannon, and the winners, well, the winner kind of, you know, move their way up in the ladder to become number one contender. But how about I throw you in there and make that match a fatal four way? Wait a second. No, you can't do Wait, that. Fatal four way? I'm down. Do to me. I should get this opportunity right here tonight. But that's the offer I'm throwing on the table. Take it or leave it. Good stuff. And you and Jack and Wade, good luck. A fatal four way. And apparently that, that match is nice. Well, here we go. Fatal four way tonight. Fatal four way action between Gloria, Deborah, Shannon, and now Madison. Okay, I can rock with that. Well, I can't rock with these two guys right here. Andre Richardson and Tony Woods attacking the Millennium Riders last week. And, oh, I'm fitting. Mr. Taskmaster Ta Task is with him. And as we saw earlier today, before the, we saw before the show officially got started here, camera caught up with, with Tony Woods and Taskmaster. They, they, they got a plan. They got a plan to make sure the cabal is tag team champion. And if that happens, then these two guys get a shot at the tag team title. Uh, well, first off, guys, gentlemen, you're going to have to win matches in order to even get yourselves in that spot in the first place. But as far as tag match is stupid to the low level that he's stupid to, I absolutely don't blame him. But these two guys right here, Brian and Sean Walter, that believe they're going to be looking for revenge, bro. That believe they're going to be looking for a way to get back in these two. And it was supposed to be a six-man tag. These two were supposed to get with Derek Walker to take on all three members of the Cabal, but that didn't happen. Thanks to the uh, action of Tony Woods and Andre literally right before the match. Derek Walker was already making his way down to the ring when these two attacked him. Ended up being a three-on-one handicap match due to the beating that the cabal gave Derek Walker last week. Derek Walker not even here tonight. 
Lewis and Derek on the bets, and here we go. The match is uh, underway. Brian is starting this match up with Andre. I remember Andre, he, uh, Andre and Tony Wood, they were both, they were a tag team in, uh, in AOA. They were still known as the, uh, the crew. And, you know, they were both, uh, tag team superstars in AOA. They weren't even really, they weren't really able to get the ball rolling up there on AOA. They couldn't really get anything done up there on AOA. So maybe, maybe the move down to AOR, it may kind of revitalize their careers a bit. Yeah, I felt they, 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 need to, they need to hold the craft and even improve themselves. That's why I sent them down here to AOR. Kick, kick, kick to the midsection. There we go. Nice DDP. Beautiful DDP. By, uh, by Andre and tagging Tony Wu. We saw him once before in AOR in a match against Andrew Lance right before Mission X. And now look at Woods showing off the striking in with some elbow. And Brian and I'm not certain on that show. Anyway, I'm not really down with the game. Send him off the rope. Oh! Man. Well, that is Sean. The other one, man. Send him to cover. Here we go. Two. And they kick out. And they kick out at two. Kick out to the back here. Oh! That's the uppercut. That's the uppercut right there. And now Tony Wood really putting uh, Sean off the rope here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, trying to remember these guys' names, bro, for real. Anyways, a tag. And he tag out, and here come. Oh, oh man. Here come, uh, here come. Here come Brian. This is Brian right here. This is Brian right here. Straight into the spring board. Oh, oh, man. Good three. And here we go. Belly to belly. Seems like good stuff right there. Pick them back up. I'm off into the corner. Nice drop kick. Men and Rod have been so impressive. They've been making their debut here against the Cabal. And since they lost, they were not, uh, they were not impressed. Ever since, ever since they beat the Cabal, Ball has not been impressed with these guys in the slightest. And the Cabal kind of using the, uh, using these guys, using the club to help get revenge here. And now, wait a second, he landed kind of knee first. Oh, man. Nice. Nice. Clap on it. They did the cover to kick out. Good grief. Mm. Wait a second. Oh. Moved by Andre. Now him and Tony Wood are really going to work here. And now he's like, he's like I'm looking at tap. The tap had to just slid the steel chair. But a nice double team effort by by Tony Woods to oh wait a second. No 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 no. Oh beautiful, beautiful drop kick. Beautiful drop kick on the part of uh on the part of Brian Walter. Ooh. It's not taking the head. Look at it. That tiger. Tiger man again. The distraction by Taskmaster on the outside of the ring. Woods grabbing the steel chair and trying to use another weapon. I said, nah, dog. And you use the attack. He's got a backfire there. That's uppercut. I really got to make a tag at some point. In the mall. And do the, uh. Oh, no. Over to the outside. I thought he was about to make a tag to Sean. And look at this. Look, oh, man. Sliding under with the paper. <laughs> and Sean was across the, uh, the cross body. And now the distraction is doing nothing but hurting Tony. But hurting Tony Woods. Tony on the outside. Good grief. Oh. Now Sean going to work on Tony here. That forearm. Oh, elbow drop and also, also caught his partner. Should have backed up just a tad bit. Should have backed up just a tad bit, man. And anyways. Got him up. And 
Oh, man. That's the Nito. Straight into the cover. Dogs are right there breaking it up. He's going to win the team. Let's some prop. Moving up with the tag. He ran in the And Andre. And not with that jumping DDT. The ref is not doing a job of counting him out, but you know, whatever. When does the ref do a job of it? I mean, we saw what he did last. Couldn't even slide the bell out of the We need to get some better referees. How do we get, how about we get NXT in these great shoes? Call the action with the whole nine yard. Hey, give me the all out action referees better. Red shoes to somebody to call this. Here's the, the, the referee of this match. Huh. Anyway. Anyway, Brian Walker. Putting in work here. Oh! Good shot right to the jaw. I'm telling you. He's really showing off that striking back of nice German straight jacket. German suplex. Good Tony Wolf. Straight to the cover and a kick out at one. Somehow. Some way. Crew still riding high in this thing. Now finally, I think at long last he's gonna make the tag and he kinda needs it. Here we go, look at that. Look at Sean. Oh! Beautiful German suplex. Oh! Beautiful German suplex now. Sean Walters. Starting to go off here. Firing back in his match, Crafter hating his match. I don't know why, but whatever. On the top here. What they about to do? The elbow drop from the top row. Beautiful elbow drop from Tony Wood. Straight into the cover. Two. And a kick out at two. Two and a half. Staying in this thing. It's, whoa! They accidentally caught the referee! Accidentally caught the referee! Tony Wood got that sleeper all locked in. And he's out. Yo, he's out. Yo, he is out cold. He's rapping now. Now what? I mean, he's, he's out cold. He's absolutely out cold here. Tony Wood's showing off here. Oh. Look, he probably don't even know where he is right now. I mean, that sleeper will technically knock him out. The match should be over. I mean, he does not know where he is right now. Now, got him up. Jumping him right on his head. That's not really helping Casey. They want him to get back up to his feet. And they're going to lock in that sleeper hold again. And he's, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down caught to get again. I mean, that match should have been over. They technically won this match twice. Because, because, because Brian Walker got knocked out after that sleeper hold the first time, but the ref was knocked out, so nobody could have won the bell. Tony was easily taking advantage of that. Said, okay, cool, cool. Let me just prevent you from getting back in this thing and continue to beat them. She beat him down, but he was unconscious. That's about it, though. Lenny and Rod have tried their best, but uh, as far as that deal, that Taskmaster and, uh, and the crew made, hey, they keep up wins like this, ball may just be one. Or, then they may just say, hey, maybe the club, maybe it's just, well, we're not the club, the crew. They get the shot of the tag team title here. Because at the end of the day, the ball got to get a win on these guys. Crew did it. Maybe at some point the crew may face off against the ball. Who knows? Nonetheless, Tony Woods and Andre. I can't believe I'm saying this. Picked up a winning tag in action. Did a minute since they've done that. But anyways, congratulations to Tony and Andre. They rarely picked up a winning tag in action. I'm surprised. Maybe this move day all was a good thing for him. See, tonight, this is my time. Tonight, I go out there and prove to everyone what people should have known about me all along. You see, some people think 
It's just because I haven't been around the AOA or AOR locker room before that I don't know what's up. But here's the thing. Something that I've learned is that when you want something, you go out there and take it. And I'll give Chloe that much. That she wanted the women's championship. So she went out there and she took it. Bravo. But your five seconds of fame is over. Your time in the sun is slowly slipping away. You can kiss that women's championship goodbye. Because I'm going to show you just a little bit of the school of hard knocks. And if you thought what I did to Kimiko was bad, well then brace yourself. Because there's a lot more where that came from. So tonight, you're looking at your new AOR Women's Champion. Don't worry Excuse the me. Well, that's what. Right. What you doing there? Oh, me? I was just on my way to my locker room, actually. Then you started uh, sitting there listening to you uh, travel on or whatever. I was just on my way to my locker room. Also, you think you're better than me. Yeah, no problem proving it right now. If you oh, really want to find out. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you know what, girl? If Chloe can beat you, I'm sure I will put you on the shelf just like you. Alright. Cool. But listen. Tonight, as much as I don't like Chloe, I hope she knocks your attitude in check. <laughs> we'll see about that. You might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Wow. You're getting a little bit heated back there. I think it's now time for the uh, little fatal four-way. It was supposed to be a triple threat, but uh, since that has been at a huge gripe, it's not being named number one contender. Tina decided, you know what? Let's throw you in there, too. Let's make this match a fatal four-way. And she's doing just that, and I think uh, she picked some, picked some pretty smart people to be in this matchup. Here's a like Gloria who's been doing very well for herself. Really since day one here in AOR. She's been doing well for herself, kind of running through people. You know, left and right here. And I think the only person that beaten her so far was... Well, the only two people that beaten her so far are Madison and Chloe. Those are the only two people that beaten her so far. Other than that, she ran running through people for real. So a huge win for for for, for, Clo for Gloria in this fatal four way would definitely help her uh, elevate her game, really elevate her status as a potential number one contender for the AOR Women's Championship. And here comes Madison. He's uh, stuck up to the It felt like everything. It felt like she should she should be number one contender for the AOR Women's Championship to a certain extent. You can already mention she should be. Apparently, AOR is the play, but you come in and you take your opportunity. Carmen uh, did kind of basically did what Chloe did. Came in and made her name felt, well, made her uh, caught the attention, caught the eyes of the right people. And her match against Kimiko was very impressive. The losing effort, and then she, she took Kimiko out of action at the AOR Live On pay per view. Or no, at the AOR. At in a noted qualification match. My mistake. Hey, well, this one we haven't even happened yet. But I guess since I brought it up, purpose time to bring it up the AOR live on paper we would be right before AOA Armageddon. We do know RJ will be challenging for the world championship there. We will also crown the first ever ta AOR tag team champion there. Already AOR shaping up to be a huge event. That would be taking place in Long Beach. California. And then following that would be AOA Armageddon. 
It's taking place in Los Angeles. Nonetheless, until we get down, I'm pretty sure these superstars are going to do absolutely anything and everything it takes to make sure that they are that they're on the card. And, and the reason why they want to be on the card, well, not just because of the big pay-per-view and the big night for AOR, having the first ever pay-per-view, but AOA talent and, and people will be in attendance. So you never know who could be there, you know what I mean? You know, you could be, you know, you never know who could be watching. That's why, you know, the AOR talent, they always gotta, they always gotta be impressive. They always gotta impress whenever they go out into that ring. Go out and do that ring, and you know how they are back there because you never know who's watching. This is the uh, the future of AOA right here. That'll be four. The uh, potential superstar that can be women, that can be the uh, the future of AOR, women of AOA women's division here in the match. Look up Shannon. What about somebody who's kind of gotten a real hot start here? To this matchup, to this, uh, everything showing up, and <laughs> definitely had an eye-opening victory <laughs> over over Debra a couple of weeks ago on her debut, and then last week she was victorious against Victoria. Let's see if she can win this, win this fatal four-way match. Here. Oh. And a real fun loving girl, fun loving woman. Whenever she gets into that ring, in go time. Remember all this dancing and prancing and stuff is over. She gets down to business. We're about to get down to business here. Fatal four way action. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the AR Women's Champion is watching. Here we go, matchup is underway. And already. Oh, man, Madison throwing Shannon to the outside. Going to go to work to her on the outside of the ring. And now Gloria and Deborah going at it on the inside. And, oh, power, power driver by Shannon on the floor. And already chaos is absolutely ensued here. And Shannon and Madison just in a straight brawl. And look at Deborah about to pick up a try to go for the win. But not even a one count uh, for, uh, for Gloria. Straight brawl back and forth. What a spine muscle. The strength of Endeavor with somebody Gloria sizes. With all due respect, anyway. Uh, definitely amazing. Wow, he did. I'm coming off that strength. Mr. Madison and Shannon. All the fight they're doing in the outside of the ring. Definitely want to get back in the ring and, uh, you know, pay attention to what's going on here. Put all the work and listen to what happened in the uh, opening of the fatal four match. Look at Gloria. Ooh, driving Deborah into the corner. Madison kind of taunting there in the uh, Oh man. That's kind of what she got. So he's doing showboating for a bit. Ooh. That was kind of the pair of kind of pair of kind of switched here. Gloria and Madison. You two guys uh, they got a little bit of history with each other. That's gonna kind of powder to the outside of the ring. Now this is the first time I think Gloria and Shannon kind of face off there. That's kind of my uh, Shannon, who's a Russian lake school. Yeah, if I was one of these two, I think, wow, you know, why you got somebody outside of the ring? I would definitely try to find someone you know, to target, to single out, and try to make Pino commit. And, oh! Up, Shannon feeling the power of Gloria right there. He's gonna fire back hard with that, uh, that jaw breaker. Look at Shannon. Ooh, look at Gloria. Oh, Gloria had Shannon in trouble. And if I was one of these, oh, wait a second. That wasn't really a wide move on the part of Madison because Gloria, Shannon was trying to take, oh my goodness. That power coming into play. Gloria laying both Shannon and Madison out. And I was saying that wasn't a wide move on the part of Madison because maybe Shannon could have took out Gloria and then that could have just left you off three. It was uh, a little bit going off thing considered. Definitely got the, uh, the power advantage over all three of these women here. That drop kick by Madison. Now Deborah gonna use that opportunity to go after uh, after Madison. Gloria's down and out. I think if anyone's gonna try to go for a pinfall submission, now would be the time to do it. Ooh. Now Shannon preventing any preventing Deborah from doing anything. Gloria back up to her feet now. 
Look at this. Oh, man. Jawbreaker. Nice jawbreaker on the part of uh, Deborah. We've seen her hitting that before. Look at that. That head scissors by Deborah. Look at some point, one of these superstars is going to attempt a pinfall or, uh, or a submission here. We do know Deborah does have that arm bar in her, uh, in her, in her, in her kind of locking key. I don't know if we're surprised if you bust that out. Ooh. Deborah ate the knees. Madison ate the knees, and then a straight penalty kick right to the chest. You know, I'm, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's going to have to kind of powder out after that. Going for four nouns, then counted with a jawbreaker, but Gloria's still standing. What's the game plan here? And oh, okay. ooh, well, wait a second. He countered. I'm impressed. Never counted with the DDT. Never laying out everybody now. Let's go. Probably going to set up Madison and this thing here. I'm thinking about that arm bar. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. She got the arm bar locked in. Never got that arm bar locked in that I was telling you, I was telling you all about before. Never got that arm bar in her, uh, her AZ. Oh, that slam by Madison. Try to go for the... Oh, Madison trying to go for the cover. I think Laura trying to go for that spinning sidewalk slam again. And then they were able to counter, and then Deborah again able to counter with the DDT. Definitely not going to really help the head and neck of uh, Gloria as the map progresses. The two count. Deborah almost picking up a win there. Deborah's been doing uh, doing pretty well. Then. Been doing pretty well, all things considered, this match. Gloria's back up in it. Jawbreaker again. It's almost like she sees she sees Gloria coming at this point. And look at that. Deborah wouldn't wouldn't Gloria like nothing, yo. Got her up over head. That jawbreaker that we've seen her hit before. But look at Madison now taking advantage. Sending Deborah off into the corner. Now, well, we're going to hit this drop kick, the springboard. Drop kick to. Oh! Man. Beautiful drop kick on the part of. On the part of, uh, of Madison. To Deborah. A five minutes carry. Four women have been really going at it here in the fatal four way. Oh, what a clothesline. A stiff clothesline. And Deborah counter glory yet again. Glory this time was able to follow up. The spine buster. And look at Shannon. Going for the power driver. Gets countered. Roll through. Got to go for the cover for Deborah right there. Saw that coming from 66.6 miles away. I don't know why that never stopped in my head, but whatever. Saw it coming from a mile away. Here we go. Oh, man. That's drop kick again. And now Deborah. Well, Deborah would have really went for a move that could probably knock Madison out. But uh, I guess you know what she's doing. And that's counter. And the part of, of Deborah here. Ooh, he's straight to the head of Sandy. Good grief. Here we go. Whoa! The straight there by Gloria. Straight into the cover. Yo, this may be it. Two and a kick out. Wow. Surprise Shannon. I'm surprised uh, Madison stayed him. And live in this thing. It really shows her toughness and her resolve with a power bomb. My Gloria. Straight into the cover. And here we go. Two. And wow. Gloria picking up the win. Off the power bomb. That's the what a bit of power aspect and Gloria really must have uh really must have gotten to uh gotten to Deborah. Maybe this is the overall impact that she that she hit, the overall impact that she landed there. Bit much hate for them. Gloria picking up the win. Preston out in by uh by Gloria and by everyone else involved here. Everybody had their moments of shine, really. Madison, I thought was on a roll here, like we moved like that. I thought she was on a roll, but nonetheless, Gloria did everything she could to pick up the win. And with that being said. We're about to go ahead and roll through the commercial break. The uh, revolution will continue. When we come back, 
Stay tuned for more of All Out Revolution. Back on? All right, cool. We're back on. Cool, 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 cool. It's about that time for the AOR Women's Championship match as Carmen set to take on Chloe Sharp in singles action. A one-on-one -on -one matchup. Carmen has been making her statement known. Been making things 100% clear. She's here for gold. She's here because she wants to be successful. She's here because... She wants to do well here in AOR. And the way she made a statement by coming out and straight up attacking Chloe after she won the AOR Women's Championship really kind of set these two on a path that they haven't really been able to uh, recover from. <laughs> really set these two on a path they haven't really been able to recover from. And these have been, been bickering back and forth. They've been brawling. They've been doing the whole nine yards. And Carmen and Madison, they were victorious last week against the team of Chloe and Ashley. And speaking of which, here comes Chloe Sharp, J Dog Love Interest, and of course, most importantly of all, the AOR Women's Champion. I gotta admit, um, I didn't really like the way that uh, that that Chloe, you know, went about getting her opportunity. To become AOR Women's Champion, but I would be I would be lying to you if I, if I said he had not been you know holding it down ever since winning that AOR Women's Championship for Nashville. It was a very some very competitive matchup, and I think tonight there's going to be a fight on the part of uh, on the part of Carmen here, on the part of uh, Chloe here, because Carmen really kind of just came out the gate swinging. I mean, really kind of came out the gate swinging. Really had a uh, had Chloe number on. Uh, Several different uh, occasions here. Let's see if tonight maybe. Let's see if tonight if things pay off here. Let's see if Carmen can uh, do what she got to do. That prize right there, the All Out Revolution Women's Championship. Carmen, still a hard knock. And a class of uh, Tyrone Andre and. A couple of other guys there, yeah, next TV superstar Tyrone Andre. Looking to really make herself known. In a recent, uh, in a recent podcast, the Millennium Podcast, she did, you know, kind of express her, you know, a little bit of scrunchiness, you know, with uh, with NXT TV. In fact, she felt she wasn't really being, uh, you know, treated as she should. You know, they really felt like she didn't really get a chance to, uh, to prove herself a lot of the time. So again, maybe she's taking that pent up of her frustration that. I kind of, you know, maybe that little pent up anger, and I'm gonna use it here, gonna translate it here. I'm gonna use her time in, in AOR to send a message. But yeah, y'all don't think I can get it done? Well, watch me. So you get a chance to prove that tonight against Chloe Sharp, the current AOR Women's Champion. That's shot by Peter Strikes by Chloe, getting the thing started off to a hot start here. Now Chloe kind of showed off of Carmen. She ain't about that, man. She's the type of person she ain't gonna back down. She'll come at you swinging. That real shooter type of style. Oh, man. That back body drop there and Carmen beating the brakes off of that. Chloe, good grief. The strike's really flying here. Face crusher. And Chloe is not looking good here in the early part of the matchup. You got a couple of strikes flurries into the beginning, but after that, man, he just went down, all the way downhill. And, oh, man, that beautiful cross body on the part of Carmen. Well, really need to kind of figure out what to do next. What's her game plan going into, going into the match, going against somebody who got the striking prowess of Carmen. I think we're going to see something here. That's nice Tiger Suplex straight to the cover and a kick out. Well, I'm not too surprised pretty early on in this matchup. And a lot more than that. Oh, man. Beautiful drop kick. Beautiful drop kick. Ooh, that's uppercut. Part of, uh, part of Chloe there. And now look at it. Oh, man. Driving her back of her head right into the, uh, the ring, the, uh, canvas there. 
gonna send her off the road. Now was her game plan here, and again, second time in a row. But this time we're gonna have the cover. But the uh, the rope breaker right there. She was really pretty close to the rope there. So I'm not too surprised. At the uh, the fact that was a rope break. I'm gonna send her hard into the turnbuckle. Really kind of wear down the lower back of Chloe. And did just that with the backstabber after whipping her heart into the turnbuckle and a kick out. Man. Chloe was going to be alive. They say, we didn't say Chloe was going to be into a fight. And J-Dog had a reason to, uh, to worry. I mean, if this was a fight that we knew Karma was going to bring to Chloe, I can see why he was a little bit worried. Now, Chloe's trying to figure out what to do. Trying to maybe try to slow this matchup down a bit. You know, maybe we kind of resort to change, the, you know, a little bit of that, you know, that, that wrestling style. But, hey, Carmen ain't stupid. You know, he was able to fight out of that. Oh, man, that's suplex again by, by Carmen. Really going to work on the back of, of Chloe here. Trying to go for a scoop plan. Gets counter. Chloe trying to end this thing with a roll-up straight into a bridge. Here we go. One, two. We may, she may retain it. No, not yet. Anyway, okay. I got him there. All right, whatever. Slow down, going to the top rope here. Picking her up to her feet. Call, calling Carmen up to her feet. What's she about to do? Drop kick. They didn't catch all of it. Kind of odd landing there on the part of uh, on the part of Carmen. She did it though, all things considered. And her off into the rope. Ooh, man. I'm on a monkey flip. It's Batbreaker again keeping that focus on the lower back. And we know why, because you know, we know she got that T-Bone suplex in her arsenal. Man, what a jawbreaker. Chloe's in some serious trouble here. Got her up over the shoulder. And, whoa, wait a second, roll through. Trying to catch her up off guard. Carmen counters. And again, Chloe able to stay alive in this thing, but. How much longer? Ooh! Probably knocked her out. I think Chloe's thinking that probably knocked her out. Going for the... Setting up for that buzzsaw. The buzzsaw kick countered. Carmen saw it coming. Chloe, Carmen has been having Chloe's number. Backstab her again. Straight into a cover and a kick out. A rope break, really. He got the rope, fortunately. Long stature of Chloe paid dividends. Listen, now she got her going for that back body drop, got it into a DDT. Chloe's trying her best to stay alive in this thing. But Carmen has not been making it easy for her. And then Carmen to the outside. It may be Chloe's chance here. Hangs out through the air, impressive. Absolutely impressive on the part of Chloe. We didn't really see her take off like that. But that time she did and going any length possible. Dragging her back to the inside of the ring here. Picking her up now what she's about to do. Running off the rope and trying to go for a drop kick again. It wouldn't work out 100%. Ooh, there we go. That time it did. That time it caught her flush. Now Chloe's looking to turn this matchup in her favor. Try to go for the knee strike. Counter. I really think Carmen has been studying Chloe here. Because every time she tried to go for like a huge knee strike or something, it's been getting countered. Ooh. Getting countered last. She just took that one dead on right in the chest. A penalty kick. There we go. That knee. Maybe, maybe she may start using those types of knees to maybe wear her down. Penalty kick again. Gonna go for the cover after that. Don't blame her. Two and oh, he got it. Two. Well, he almost retained the women's championship right there. Gotta go for the Insagari against counter. And couldn't have that power of Carmen taking over. Slinging her from one side of the ring to the other without a care in the world for her body whatsoever. No, no, Carmen, do you really think she would? And monkey flip again. Really, I'm telling you, wearing down that lower back. Definitely gonna come into play at some point. Now what? What in the world is, is Carmen doing here? Shot to the back. Here we go. Ooh! Back suplex, dropping her on the back of her head. And Chloe again 
in some serious trouble here. Face plant yet again. There we go. Oh, man. Dropping our face first down yet again. Like, the, the, the target of Choi has been the lower back and the face and head of, of Chloe here. And now what? Ooh. Drop kick to the outside. Carmen going up top. What the word is this? Splash from the top row. That was beautiful. That was just straight beautiful. Vicious, but beautiful. Oh, ooh, head first right into the ring, but I don't know what to tell you there. Goodness. Send her spine first right into the barricade. Right in the middle of the barricade, too. Oh, wait a second. What in the world is Chloe doing? Wait a second. Wait a second. Then they are. Oh, man. Court screw leg drop across the barricade. Impressive maneuver by Chloe. That may have been what she needed to turn this match in her favor. Now what's she doing? Calling her up to her feet. Blasting her with those strikes. Shoulder tackling to the corner. Here we go. Chloe be getting the fire up here. This strike. Knee. She got it. Caught it with that running knee. Caught it with the Kinshasa. Can we call it that? Yeah, I'm going to call it that anyway. Caught it with the Kinshasa. Going for the butt thaw kick. Gets countered again. Caught it with the butt thaw kick. Carmen with that T-bone suplex. Carmen Carter dodged the buzzsaw kick immediately into the T-bone suplex second time in a row. Oh no, she get, yo, she's about to hit the move three times. Back to back to back. And it's oh, T-bone suplex for the third time in a row. Straight into the cover. And, wait, wait a second. She actually did it. She actually did it. We got a new AOR Women's Champion. Are you kidding me? C Carmen had Chloe numbers this whole match. It's just about. She studied. This is the case of she, she, she studied her. I mean, hey, Carmen apparently got street smart and in ring smart. And she proved it right here tonight by besting Chloe at ev almost every turn. Good grief! Good grief! She actually did it! I don't know what J-Dog is thinking, but I will say this. With Carmen as the new AOR Women's Champion, this division is in some trouble. Congratulations to Carmen! She actually did it! Jeez, we all talk, but talk about backing it up in a big way. Wow. Hello, I am AOR General Manager, Christina Miller. Now, of course, as you all can see, there's not a steel cage in that arena. For the simple reason of, unfortunately, they're unable to support having a steel cage there. Oh, don't worry. Well, we're going to do not that. Not too far from here. There is an arena that will hold the steel cage match. So, our camera crews are already over there. So let's get to it. Our main event, RJ Miles versus Big Mac inside of a steel cage. Gentlemen, good luck. Well, I was kind of wondering why we didn't have a steel cage match. Why we didn't have a steel cage here in the arena. But apparently we couldn't support it. Okay, that, that made sense, I guess. Oh, wait. We got an updated logo down there? I think that's an updated logo. Here comes RJ Miles. We're not too far, I guess we're in the arena not too far from, from where we're at. The crowd's loud. The crowd's rocking over here. Yo, can we come over here? Why can't we do our shows over here? crowd loud 
Crowd actually got some type of applause to him. I'm, I'm impressed. Well, nonetheless, RJ Miles is set to take on Big Mac inside of a steel cage. And they get the crowd here. This is the following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, weighing in at 220 pounds, RJ Miles. Okay, this is about, that's the ring that might be pretty close. I would work the Jersey or get all the way over here from, from where we work. I'm confused. She must have hopped back in her car. She must have hopped in her car after after she made the introduction for the women's championship match. I wonder why we didn't hear her. Anyways, here comes Big Mac. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 252 pounds, Big Mac. Here comes Big Mac, set to uh, take on RJ Miles inside of a, uh, a steel cage due to the result of what happened a couple of weeks ago in which Big Mac on several different occasions prevented RJ Miles from winning the AOR World Championship. And I think this is almost kind of a weapon in the sky for RJ because he gets J he gets Big Mac alone. JB's at a different building. JB's back in the other uh, back in the other arena. And apparently as far as how the thing's being broadcast, I'm looking at the thing with my monitors here. And the fans here in this arena, they're, they're doing it from Titantron. Doing it from the Titantron there in that arena. The ladder, I think they're the, they're the way they're able to pull up their uh, devices and check it out there in the, uh, the AOR app. And here we go. And this is our main event. For those that have stuck around up to this point, thank you. And this is, this is, this is this crowd. Yo, this crowd is working. Listen to this! The grief! And Big Mac sending RJ into the turnbuckle with a belly to belly suplex. Pretty sure JB is watching this from his location inside the arena. Damn it, driving Big Mac's head right into the, uh, the corner. And look at this. Look at RJ. Moonsault. Beautiful moonsault. Straight into the cover and a kick out at two. Congratulations on the part of RJ Bob for connecting that move. And also congratulations to him because he will be a part of XTV 05. As far as we know, he will be the challenge for the XTV Heavyweight Championship against the champion, whoever that may be. Ooh. Oh man, he just shot to the rim. That big man, big man really gonna try to wear down RJ here. We, we gotta get to see what Big Mac can do with singles action. And driving his head repeatedly into the turnbuckle. And RJ with a nice counter. Oh man, that's counter there by uh by RJ. Oh trying to take the big man down and kind of deal with the kick and then the drop kick. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by uh and the tenacity of, uh, of RJ here. But, oh, there we go. The steel cage finally being used as a weapon. And RJ just got slung right into that cage here. What a grief. Now Big Mac got him up over his shoulder. It's only a matter of time before the steel cage came into play. And just slinging him into that cage. And this crowd is rocking, man. Yo, whoever, yo. What did they... Goodness. Why wasn't our arena this crowd all dead and silent and such? But here's the rockets into this play. This crowd rocking, fam. Ooh, head burn right into the brace. Well, I mean, when they get like a pre-show over here, were they able to get in for the steel cage match here? Oh man. Again, are they thrown right into the cage? This place is going nuts! Are they able to slide up to the top rope here? That was whoa! That to go for something there. Didn't really, uh, really connect all the way. Back in the clothesline. 
Now it's a game plan here. Roll through. Picks him up. Whoa, what a what a move. What an impressive move by RJ. Taking him down. And those strikes repeatedly to the head of Big Mac. Big Mac is in some huge trouble here. Those you know that have watched up to this point, thank you all. This is our main event in Steel Cage match. As promised, she's in the middle, make sure she's delivering. On her promise of getting us a Steel Cage match. You know, couldn't be in this arena. Oh, man. Beautiful elbow, straight into the cover. Two, they may be in here, and they kick out at two. I can barely hear myself. This crowd is on fire. That's counter. What's Big Mac game plan here? He's got to use his power. Continue to use his power to the advantage. Slinging him into the cage yet again. And I'm number one, bro. And they just be number one. Look at this. And again. Yo, yo, he's a good dude around. Ooh! Swing them head for that time right into the steel cage. And I think RJ may have gotten cut open there. And yes, he did. And he knew the match was going to get physical. He knew the match was going to get bloody. He knew the match was going to get violent. And it's not just that, and RJ busted open. Ooh! Oh, I'm not really putting that cage to good use. That was his game plan here. Got to the midsection, really wearing down RJ. Power slam. Straight into a power slam. Straight into the cover. And a kick out at one. How in the world is RJ still in this thing? Here we go. Rana straight into the cover. Like not even a one there. I'm kind of on their feet here. Yo, it's like standing room only, fam. Look at this. Oh, man. Slinging him straight to the cage. Get a little bit of payback here. And I'm pretty sure RJ is looking forward to this. He got Big Mac right where he wants them. Taunting him right in his face. Almost like he's saying, yeah, dude, my hand should have been raised in victory. And he cost him. And RJ looking to get up out of this cage here. RJ, you came with this map by pinfall, submission, or escape in the cage. And it looks like RJ is about to take advantage of the escape clause in this cage match. And Big Mac right there putting a stop to all of that real quick. Said, nah, bro, we good. You can get, you can bring yourself on down here is what Big Mac is telling. You can get on down here is what he's telling. Oh, look at this. Looks like Big Mac trying to go for something there. You got him fighting up on this top rope here. Very dangerous position. The tide of the Mac can change either way. And his head's going right to the brave. Oh, Big Mac's head right to the brave. RJ again following up. Ooh. Hard fall by Big Mac and that nice elbow from RJ. And this place has gone nuts. And picking him up over his shoulder. And pay back to something else, ain't it? Ooh! Head first, right into the steel cage. And we heard RJ say, in layman terms, he wants Big Mac to bleed. He wants him to feel his pain. And I think Big Mac is in the process of, uh, Doing just that. Ooh, man, drop kick to the knee. He's really trying to break him down, really trying to wear him down here. And that was his game plan. What's the game plan here? Knee, close. Ooh, ooh. Now look at this now. RJ, swinging Big Mac back into the steel cage. We were having using the cage like a lethal form of offense earlier. And he's doing the same thing to Big Mac here. Now what? We're going to catapult them. Ooh! Head first. Right into the cage, stomping the rib. And stomping the knee of Big Mac. 
That elbow right in the jaw. You can feel the impact. They need time or they blast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this now. Big Mac again. Ooh. That third right in the steel cage. It's going to mean you as a lethal weapon. Having it encouraged to get free. Or they getting his payback when it comes to the steel cage here. Ooh. I think Big Mac got cut over from some of those strikes. That was. That was. That was. Oh! Oh, man! Blind firmly against the cage and then slamming him into the mat. And they were going to RJ keep him back up. Oh, you might look good, bro. What's up, bro? Or is it making sure Big Mac doesn't escape here? Oh, head broke into the cage. Again, head broke right there. His head, head is hitting that brace. His head is hitting the brace of the cage and down. Down he go. I think, oh man, I think Big Mac got, must have got caught open real good here. Look at RJ. 450 splash. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Big Mac got busted open bad there. With his head rammed against the cage. And are they almost picking up a win? Next man. Oh, great. Look at this. Oh, man. Big man. Super kid right to the jaw. Yo, the dude ain't playing any games right now. He's almost loving every minute of this. Really don't blame him. This is a kick. Uh oh. Big back got him. Short slam. Putting him down. Trying to put a stop to RJ Momentum. Is they going to get the win? And no, not yet. Not yet at all. Big Matt was trying to put a stop. Oh, man. What a, what a, yo, what a strike. He just leveled it. Absolutely leveled it. RJ probably knocked out. You got no idea where he's at. Yo, deadlift. He just deadlifted a power slam. They're bringing the A game. These two guys are straight up bringing their A game here. Deadlift again. Power slam. Straight into the cover. You got me it, yo. Hard is out. But no, he isn't. Staying alive in this matchup. Oh, he's taking a big knock and they're trying to get out the door. You can do that. I was say, or thought, maybe thought about it, maybe changed his mind. Probably realized RJ was going to get back to his feet at some point, preventing any of that from happening. What a form, quick kick to the back. This is a lively they all crowd I've been in front of, man. This is about as rough as an AOA crowd can get sometimes, bro. Ooh, man, he's right to the jaw. And Big Mac hitting an RJ right into the corner. Chopped to the chip. And again with it, head first into the cage. And go ahead and get up out of here. Big Mac realizing, hey, yo, I got to end this thing right now before RJ gets any more momentum. Now what? They're kind of struggling there. Maybe the wear and tear in this match really kind of getting to him. Here we go. Look at RJ. Oh, stop putting the stop to where Big Mac is going. They kind of got the mindset where you think you're going. And then that's like a Big Mac climbing down from the cage. I don't know why he did that. I mean, RJ was right there. And then it's like a Big Mac. The Big Mac is climbing up. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting deja vu. This is not good. Last time we've seen two people fight up here with Destry and Nate Shield, and we all know how that went down. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Ooh. Everyone this is top of the cage. This is a very bad position. No. Oh, my God. Big Mac taking a huge lead. Oh, no. Look at RJ. Look at RJ. Cross. Flash, uh, really. Not a cross body. A splash from the top of the cage. 
Big Matt taking the fall of his life from the top of that cage, flipping DDT. Good green. We're gonna get a replay, there we go. Oh no. RJ flipping DDT once, flipping DDT for the second time. Come on, replay guy, where you at? Come on, guys, be on top of that, be on top of that. He's out. Oh, no, he's going to get him again. Yo, this dude taking every out the moment to get his revenge, yo. Flipping DDT for the third time. After everything Big Mac, what happened to Big Mac did to him, I'm not too surprised. And I think when he's out. He's out cold. Big Mac got to be out cold, man. But, uh, that got to be out cold here. He's about to roll up out of here, man. RJ Miles getting what he needed to do and go ahead and get up out the door. And Big and RJ Miles picking up the win. You two warriors brought their A game tonight, man. They brought it inside this steel cage. This crowd was live for it. This crowd was absolutely live for it. And they brought their A game. And I'll give them credit where credit is due. But the second Big Mac fell from the top of that cage, it was over, man. Consider it game. And RJ getting a little bit of retribution, picking up the win. Now let's see if he can go to AOR and pick up a win and become world champion. But Here that's it. That's it for this episode. If you can, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other video that streams on this channel. Spread the word. Spread the word about the channel. Then the next time I see you guys, be a boss. Now we'll holler. See you guys later. Congratulations to RJ Miles.